This is it. The Angle of Grass. Uh, hey there, everyone. This is Al Calplin, Banjo Kazooie, and we're in Mad Monster Mansion, where the music suddenly stops. And there's a bucket there. We know what we do when we see a bucket of some kind. It's more like an urn. Let's hang it out right here. Look at that. Yeah, that is a very happy pot. So here's Gruntilda's uh, graveyard, I guess. It's really more to scale with the residents of here, like Banjo and stuff, than her own, like, self, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, she says, rest in peace. Uh, what a guy. Always going around hoping people get the rest they need. Someone stole a skull and put it behind a grave. I mean, it's a good place to put it, I guess. I guess a better place to put it would be inside someone's head, but... You know, can't choose or a theater. These, these are kind of hard to aim. But you know, it's, it's, how do you aim behind yourself? Uh, also, the backpack is double-ended, so I wonder if Kazooie is ever at a risk of like falling out or something like from the bottom. That would be sad if it happened. All right, look at that. Uh, yeah, that's right. I got that egg back, and then look, I want to turn just a little bit, just a little bit. Not that much. Ugh. Hmm. It's a good thing that I got Sonic eggs to have more eggs to be able to spend frivolously making compost all around this yard. Really? Man, this guy is. Just, I can't. There we go. I did it. Hey, that was the magical one, though. There's no magical one. It's just that all pottery have a psychic link with one another, and one one of them is a fact, uh, the other one knows everything. Oh, this goes into the maze. I don't want to do that quite yet. It's not what I'm feeling like. Alright, so we got this chapel we couldn't go in, but obviously, if we can go in it, we can also go on it. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna play Star Force. Alright, so. We got all these fun notes on the rooftop, and when you step on the roof tile, it goes tick, tick, tick a lot. Ah, it's a good time, you know? And here's the brig jutting out. It's a lot of fun. Here's the claw. It don't got no arrows, though. Arrowless claw. Hey, but look at that. Whoa, you can't even go in. Uh, that's right, I snuck in, and that's a secret passageway to get on top. So they don't make you play through going through the tower, which I respect. Right, here we go. No, be careful. And obviously, there's gonna be more to here, right? Like, you gotta... It's not like a jump pad? Yes, there is a jump pad. I remember you jump pad. Then you go up, and here's the weather vane, and here we go! Now we know where the north is. Uh, we can finally align ourselves and figure out where we are in this great big world of Banjo-Kazooie. So what do I want to do now? I mean, I would like to get that. Maybe I should do maze things. There's a maze right here. You can go into it. It's like, whoa, the music's getting all wacky. Okay, so there's notes in here, which is a bit of a nightmare. There's a Jinjo way over there. Orange, citrus flavored. Uh, Alright, you don't have, like, a counter of, like, what is inside the smiley maze? Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. I wanted to, uh... Whoa, I got hurt twice there. I wanted to, uh, put on my Wonder Wings, but I didn't! Uh, Alright, there's one ninja left somewhere within this realm. I don't know where that is. It, 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 you're a Pokemon, though, you know, right here. Go in the corner of the maze, and that's where you'll find the skull spinning around. As always. Alright, well, there's a beehive, but it's full of bees. So, not too interested in being stung by honey. Is there anything there? Alright, you know what? Hey, ghosts. Ignore me like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, here's an Invincibilitron. That's the, you know, correct word to use. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're having fun. I feel like I went through the maze, but I feel like I didn't learn anything. But, oh man, I feel it's just so plausible that I missed something, but... I mean, would there just be a Genjo there? Alright, let's go inside the chapel, and afterwards we'll do something. No, wait! I gotta do something first. 
I, in my infinite wisdom, forgot a window to smash on the top of this floor. Um, like the big window? Like, I noticed that. Yeah, this one. This guy. Like, I went on the other side of the building. Whoa. What was our interaction there? I'm not sure. That bat stuck on snow stuck on the brickwork. What a bat. Right here. Yeah. See, I smashed the one on the other side, but not this one. It's the room with the pirate. Oh, I heard a help. Uh, a ginger's now. See, this is run these bags. See, the bed is run the size. There's eggs here. Hey, ghost. Laugh at me. There we go. You're dead now. You cannot vanquish the ability of long nose. Probably. How do you get up there? Oh, there's a pad right there. Right. But there's also something behind his chest. Yeah, that's right. It's a note. That's not a note. It's a feather. They're different things. Hey, you got notes here. Whoosh. That's right. Here, got that set. All right, Junjo, time for you to foster upon me your powers. That's right, top of the bed, victory dance. Gonna ruin the springs on the ceiling. I don't think there's springs there. So, there's one, so I'm at seven. There's three more. One in the chapel at the very least. And two with, or is it just one with? The transformation. The local transformat. I'm not sure. Alright, well let's go inside a chapel and we'll figure things out as we do them. Alright, so remember there was a button to press next to running shoes. Uh, probably. I think you can just like, you do that, then you just, no, you need to pop. Huh? Alright, so cancel. Because, yeah, you can't do that if you're in, in, in running shoe mode, sadly. So, yeah, so it's like, uh-oh, timer's on, but now I got my shoes on. So we can just go really fast, hopefully. Go, go, Banjo-Kazooie, into the door we go, yes sirree. There we go. We got a little victory from far, and we don't even go in completely, but then we are inside the spooky world of Spooky Town. I forget what to do here, but we'll realize it. Well, I know the main thing. But we got these giant pews and giant ghosts. I don't know why these are so big. They're still super vulnerable, though. So, you know, it's all good. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Religious imagery. Is it imagery? It's not really. It's religious furniture. I don't know how Nintendo felt about those, I guess. At the time, especially. Alright, look at that, he's laughing. No laughing here, buddy. If you laugh, you will collide with the glowy killer thing. Well, it's not that killing, I mean, the pen's like, we're, we're doing fine. We're not being killed by our power to become invincible. That would be strange. Alright, another pew, just... This feels a bit DK64, the, like, go through big motion. To get one thing you need, really, and then do it four times for fun. It's whatever, like, it's fine. Like, it is absolutely fine, but it is just kind of strange. Alright, 87 notes, we're getting there. Strange number, but that just happens a lot. So there's a beehive there, in case you need it. You know, the holy beehive, full of bees. And there's a second one for symmetry. Great, fantastic. I don't know who plays the music here. The scale in this, like, world in its entirety is absolutely wild. Alright, gotta sit on this skull and have skull set time. Right, there's this man here, but I don't want to interact with him quite yet. Well, I said man, it's more like a ham. Or can I? Okay, maybe I have to interact. Alright, well, we can get up here. Like, hey. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna go up here before I do anything. Like I said, I'll come back to you. I just want to go on top of the pipe organ and get all these fun prizes. Skeleton! Fall into pieces, okay? It's my request to you. Is there not something behind- Ew, what up? Don't really need those, but you never know. There's more one-ups in this game than I thought I remembered. Alright, and then you get up here, it's like, oh, no, yeah, we're, we're gonna go up here somewhere. Alright, let's interact with this man called Motzan. 
It's a pun with uh, between Mozart and hand. Uh, all right, so now we're gonna play the music together. Look at that. See, he slowly drifts out of place, and then you press it. The c note is completely different. It doesn't matter. I think the note might follow like what's currently playing on the soundtrack, rather than you know the actual key we're pressing. But it's just so weird. Uh, like you just kind of, kind of slowly follow. All right, what did it? Uh, not bad. Uh, now, okay. I don't know if you're supposed to, like, do the whole, like, supposed to watch and play the whole thing, and then you recopy. But you can just follow him. Like, you can just, and you know, all his motions are extremely, extremely deliberate. So it's not like it's like difficult. Like, you can very easily predict where he's gonna be pressing down. And he doesn't hurt you, because he's a ghost. Although other ghosts have hurt us, but they were green. They were poison ghosts. This is the hand musician ghost. They're different things. Alright, I did it. I pressed that key. I did that on my own. Boo, boing. That's the music. Quack, boop. And there we go. Hey, that victory chime and faded away. That's what it looks like when a hand talks. Oh, there's a flight pad. I knew there was a flight pad somewhere, and I was interested in it. And I saw it there in that particular camera cut. Yeah, so I was excited about going all over the place, but turns out I should have did the Mozart event, Mott's hand event before, because now I'm just jumping on these pipes again for a second time. Bam, bam. Do you like the bop bop? It's my favorite part. So two more. I know of one, and I think I know of a second one. So... Whoa! That happened. Uh, Alright, well, I'm gonna have to go back up there, but that's okay. I, I'm trying to... These bees are not very effective. Honestly, like in terms of protecting their hive, they're not doing a great job. I, I don't want to judge them or anything. I'm just... But like, I'm just... I... From what I've witnessed right here, I remember them being a lot scarier. What happened? It is nothing to be worried about. All right, so where I want to go is here somewhere. So it's like higher up that there's the flight pad that I clearly could see. All right, so we're gonna go up here, then do that, do that. You know what? That guy, he annoyed me for the last time. There you go. No more annoyances. Oh yeah, so yeah, you need to be at this level. Where in other places there's a torch, here there's a flight. Unrelated events. So is there anything on these torches? No. The flames don't spawn until they get close enough though. That's good to know. Alright, let's just go way up there. You know, just use up those limited resources of feathers. Look at that. Something we call the switch of the witch. Right here. Gonna pop something. Eyeball! Yeah, that's right. That weird face somewhere in the game. It has eyeballs now. Pretty sure there's something else up here. Yeah! One of the hexagons. One of... Yeah, the other one. Right, the other one. I need to be tiny, too. Right, 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 right. Well, I hope I don't die. Okay, that could have gone so bad. Oh, good thing I let this honey litter all over the place. Look at that. High above the raptors and stuff. Here's the honeycomb piece that I can't get enough of. By which I mean I can't get at all. Alright, all the way here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna land here. I don't know how I'm gonna get back down. I didn't think that far ahead. That's okay. Yeah, so, I think now, yeah, we're gonna transform, and we gotta do transformy things, and I hope I get everything done there. Yeah, is there a safe way to get down, though? I guess you just gotta get down, and... So, I'm gonna get your honeycomb that you're holding, because... Serve as some kind of buffer. Because I guess I'm just gonna go jump down. Oh, I, pr I tried to press the button, but uh, she wouldn't flap. She did not flap. All right, well, there's honey here all over the place, so that's good, I guess. 
Hey bees, just passing by. Goodbye. Don't worry about me. All right, let's shaman. Yeah, so you got this super huge area, and that's what they did with it. <laughs> yeah, the door does close behind, so if you want to return, you're doing the race again, which is okay. That's totally okay. Alright, Yaho. Is there anything in this yard I'm interested in? Oh, there's that invincibility feathers. Right behind where you can't see it. Alright, here we go. We got enough. We've got notes here. I'm missing five somewhere. Five, I think, is a good number to miss. Alright, so, yeah. One of the flames is missing, which implies there could be something good here. Or not. Oh, another invincibility feather? I mean, like, we're finally using them a lot, so I guess it makes sense. It's just kind of funny. Alright, hey, transform me! So what spooky transformation is it gonna be in the spooky with that's right? It's a cute little pumpkin! It's me! Yeah! Proud of pumpkin spell! Uh-oh, he wants to make me a soup, though, so we're out of here. Bird and beer soup. I bet that's okay, because I said it wrong. Um, alright. So what do we do as a little pumpkin? That's a valid question. We got this thing on the... So there's a place where I gotta go in a thing. That's the precision of my language. Not here, though. Spruce uh. sound. Thing here for me. Oh no, you hurt this pumpkin though. Whoa, oh, that's bad. There's two hurts here for no reason. I think it's in the maze somewhere. There's a place where it tapers into like a ramp. I need to remember where that is. Forget, can you smash that window with Banjo and Kazooie in the window? Ah, uh, because if so, I'm gonna need to retrans untransform. That? No, you didn't attack. Oh, you don't even break it, you just go through. So it's not impossible that I could have just gone through as a. Uh, as a, okay, but I think it's like just like a power-up zone, like it's not, yeah, there's nothing that matters here. But it does give me a chance to refill on health, honestly, so, you know what, I'm gonna take it. So I know that as a pumpkin, you can get down here, and I think there's a puzzle piece here, but you can't get otherwise, yeah. But, can I get all the, okay, so you know what, I got all the notes. Now I can die, and it's okay. I mean, things are gonna respawn, but that's fine. So, note there, and, you know, you gotta interact with that toilet. Like, everyone kind of expected that, I'm pretty sure. So, and that would put me... And I need... There's that window in... I need to get into where you're going to floorboard for... In Pumpkin. I, so... I know how to get everything, I just need to get to a higher level as a pumpkin, and I forgot where you do that. I wonder if I've ever been here. Yes, I have, several times. Like, what is even there? There's the ramp, there's a clear ramp there. Oh, is that it? There's a tiny hole here? Yeah, okay. Did it, it finally happened! I forgot the little crucial part of the level. Here we go. I, I remember there was a ramp in the hedge maze that connects to here and gets you to like the top floor to do top floor stuff in pumpkin form. Ah, oh, man, finally. All right, there we go. So there's the last uh, honeycomb. Then we're gonna go around the house, and we're gonna interact with the friendly lo Logo. Logo, I guess. L-O-G-G-O. -G -G Not Lego. But if you want to diminish, you know, the worth of Lego, you could say that. Alright, we're interacting. 
I want to interact, Mr. Toilet. And here we go! I get smushed up and get all small and tiny inside these pipes. And yeah, these are the textures chosen, and this is the prize I'm looking for. I think we can look around, right? No. Yes, we can. Alright, is there anything else? There can be a token, a mumbo token, but it shares an idea with another one in the earlier in the level. So it won't be here anymore. Yeah, that's a fart sound that I heard, and I've had enough. Uh, this area was modeled and designed, and someone used some real life man hour to build this place. Uh, now I interrupted Grunty without thinking about it, because yeah, she can't speak if we're going through. Uh, a, a, a thing loading. So that's on me. Sorry about that. See, that's the power of pumpkin. Just fall into things. It's just small form. Uh, we don't get to do a little celebratory dance because I'm a little pumpkin. Next time. Well, you so everything is done though here, then, right? If we go and view totals, uh, we did it. It only took videos, and I was sure it was gonna take three. However, um, next time. I think is going to be a micro we're doing things on the map video and honestly it might not be that micro but we got stuff to do as a pumpkin and then we got stuff to do as a non-pumpkin so we're gonna get into that next time